When we travel the state, sometimes we run across a place we assume everybody must know about. But we're often surprised how few actually do. Laura Faber found such a place while traveling through Chattanooga. Now, it's a peaceful oasis in the middle of the city. It is full of international art. In the shadow of Lookout Mountain in downtown Chattanooga, in the heart of an industrial area, sits 33 acres full of art. Sculptures from renowned artists from around the world. Welcome to Sculpture Fields at Montague Park. It's a vision of John and Pamela Henry. It's owned by the city of Chattanooga. This is actually a Chattanooga public park that was deeded to the city in the early 1900s by Mary Montague as remembrance to her husband. And this used to be just a spectacular, beautiful piece of property with live trees, live oaks and hickory trees, a creek running through it. And she dedicated this piece of land to the city for the city residents to have an oasis and a, and a place of peace and calm within the city of Chattanooga. Board member Jay Haviland says that progress was not kind to the park. At one point, the city used it as a landfill and it became a brownfield, an environmental hazard. It was actually shut down in 2003. But in 2006, the idea was born by an internationally acclaimed sculptor, the late John Henry, to transform this acreage with art. I think now it's a surprise to most people when they come out here and they're like, this is amazing, <laughs> and it is amazing. After years of environmental repair, texturing of the land, and John Henry asking his sculptor friends to help fill the park, Sculpture Fields opened to the public in 2016. Now it is the largest sculpture park in the Southeast. The first installation in the park is the work of John Henry himself. This is Betty Davis eyes, 70 feet of steel, his medium of choice. But it didn't take long for one sculpture to become 40, and the park continues to grow. The most monumental piece in the park is Anchors by Peter Lundberg. At 75 feet tall, it can be seen from the interstate. It was done a few years ago as a reaction to the Fallen Five. When we had the incident where the military recruiting officers were attacked here by a gunman and he killed five local officers. And so the community came together and did various Fallen Five remembrances. And John had one of his friends come down here and construct this actually in the park and then lift it and put it in place. There's a time capsule underneath it and a remembrance for the Fallen Five. The park is open 365 days a year, free, and all are welcome, pets and kids included. Rowan, do you remember the name of this one? Yeah. Lime Green Lime Wedding Cake. Lime Green, Lime Green Wedding Cake. Christopher Stewart is leading an annual summer camp at the park. The kids have really like adopted this park as their own, which I find awesome. Yeah. Chloe, are you gonna crawl underneath it? So just about every week we do a tour of, of the statues. And then normally on Friday, they want to go do a second lap of everything. They've got their own names for them all. They love the little maps, being able to, you know, try to figure out where they are. We've done um, some stuff with some compasses and landmarks as far as using the sculptures. They think they're great. They like trying to figure out what they look like. The statue's called least amount of space. Let's see who can curl up into the smallest ball and take up the least amount of space. Who can take up the least amount of space? As a nonprofit, the park relies on donations, a skeleton staff, and volunteers to maintain the sculptures. It offers spectacular fundraising events like the burn. It's like a Burning Man celebration, where we have a local artist, creates a, a small maquette of, of what we intend to build, and then he builds a large 20, 30 foot version of it and we have bands out here and fire eaters and fire parade and we get a large crowd and at 10 o'clock at night, we light it on fire. And it takes a half an hour for the thing to burn completely up and crumble to the ground. 
Sculpture Fields at Montague Park is a vibrant space to find peace, art, and community. I think it's a beautiful gift to the community. I think this fulfills the Montague dream. The Montague family members that we know that are still in town think this is a beautiful use of the land and they support it very much. And we're glad to have their support and, and, and we hope they're proud of it as we are for the legacy of Mary Montague who started all this.